I said, I'm okay, I'm okay. I can pay for the first night. And they, they refused, which I think is honestly not fair. So unfortunately, this is gonna be our first Airbnb ever that we just have to cancel and check out. Wow. Yeah. And good morning everyone and welcome back to a new travel vlog from Chiapas, Mexico. We are currently leaving our Airbnb in Chiapas and today I'm going to show you how sometimes when you book an Airbnb it doesn't go according to plan. Unfortunately, you know photos online can be very deceiving beautiful. It's easy to make something look professional You see that every day on Instagram, right? And then you show up at a place and it isn't exactly what you planned for so up on first sight This should have been a very cozy cabin. I mean we were really looking forward to stay here But you guys can see we have been moving this bucket around It's been raining the entire day and there is a giant water leak here here and right here Three wow. places in this roof, it is leaking water. And it hasn't just been leaking now, unfortunately. You guys can see here, this entire place is fungi infested. This thing smells really bad. And I do not want to sleep in a place that has an open bedroom where that thing just <laughs> goes around so unfortunately guys we were really looking forward to showing you this place and showing you what it's like to live here but they have some unfortunate de defects with this house that I just had to show you because these are things that you really have to be aware of when you're booking stuff it's a water heater that's supposed to give you very comfortable hot water which is a nice idea but this thing doesn't really work and it's hard to judge that based on a photo and we have been without water the entire day and you know us we are full-time youtubers we jump from Airbnbs to Airbnbs and this is the first time we've had so many incidents go wrong at the same time. So unfortunately, this is gonna be our first Airbnb ever that we just have to cancel and check out. And just, you know, so right now we're talking to Airbnb customer service trying to resolve this directly with them. The host also said that this is the first time it's never happened to them before. But I do believe if you're running a business, and let's say I was sleeping in a hotel room and all of a sudden my hotel room started leaking from three places in the roof, you would get refunded or you would been you know, taken to a new hotel room. Here, they only have one option and that is to refund. I said, I'm okay, I'm okay, I can pay for the first night and I'm not gonna ask for the refund of service charges, taxes, or the cleaning fee. I just want my six nights flat back that I'm not gonna stay here. And they, they refused, they, they were gonna give me an amount of like two nights, which I think is honestly not fair at all. I mean, we're gonna try to be positive and find a new place here in Chapas. Guys, this vlog is taking another turn. We're done with all this. And I just want to mention one thing. I expect this comment section to be filled with comments. I just want to say that this has nothing to do with Mexico or Mexicans at all. Love you guys, love your country. It's just one bad experience with an Airbnb. Five minutes later. Oh my God, guys, check it out. This is so nice. Hmm, it's a hotel, but we got a big TV clean bed and in the morning I'm gonna show you our view because we also have a patio right here. And this is 1,100 per night. It's a little bit more expensive the Airbnb, but at least we're happy. We're gonna get some good night's sleep. Uh, smells fresh, you know, all of that. Okay, and then tomorrow I'll be showing you San Cristobal City. And I guess now, yeah, we're good to go. We're back in the game, let's go. Day out in the streets of San Cristobal and we're gonna start with a breakfast. We've driven past this place a couple times, so we're pretty excited to try it. Very narrow streets, but we found the parking spot. Right in front. Right in front of the restaurant. Sometimes you get lucky, you know? Ooh. Beautiful. <laughs> wow, check that old TV. Good find. Again, Ava, you find all the best places always. Check it out. Americano to make the Norwegian happy. Freshly squeezed orange juice. And I'm gonna give my cake to my lovely fiance. No, you get it. I know you really want it. Aww. Oh, mmm. They gave us a courtesy uh, with marmalade. I didn't really 
Sure. Right. I just have to say that we got big response on our food trip vlog in Playa del Carmen, so it's exciting. I've never done food vlogs before, but I think that's something I might continue with. Mm. Is it good? I think it's only for me. <laughs> Excuse me, no, I'm definitely getting something as well. I think I'm going to take this whole tray. Give it to me. I think this is the best I've ever been taken care of at a breakfast place. Oh my lord, thank you so much. This is really something. Outdoor garden too. Yeah. Wow. They're playing piano for us this entire morning. That's really the kick start of the day we needed. Okay, now we're gonna hope that our rental car doesn't have a dent. We're gonna do a little city tour right now. I'm gonna try to walk around the streets and give you a little feeling of what San Cristobal looks like. Amor. So nice. You guys, we are out in the streets. San Cristobal, we're gonna try to find something else in Mexican food tonight. We've discovered that we don't have any clothes. That are matching <laughs> when it comes to outdoor clothing that keeps you warm. Guys, we are out in the streets at night and we're looking for a restaurant. Not sure where we're gonna end up yet. There's a lot of different options here. Like, it's a lot of restaurants everywhere. Okay, guys, we have discovered a restaurant, Cucoliche. Really nice ambience in here, check it out. So check this out, I ordered a pizza bread with melted cheese and chicken, fries and a salad. And Ava is having the... Chicken curry. Yeah. Rice. Rice. Wow. Rice is nice. You're so happy whenever we find yeah. rice, aren't you? I haven't had rice today, so... Guys, the number one reason we actually went in here is when we walked by, the atmosphere just looked so inviting and there was a lot of locals in there and that's how you know the place is safe and you're most likely not going to get any trouble. Guys, check it out. My other black hat is very, very dead. Like, it doesn't work anymore, so we discover this one. 520 pesos. Is it made here in Chapas? Yes. Ah, locally made. I'm gonna get it. Everything here is made locally in Chapas. And they have scarves. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, we're out at night. This place is really popping at night. We have found a really nice rooftop restaurant in the middle of town and I've found the beer that also has CBD in it. That's so funny. I didn't know. <laughs> and I have a draft beer and you know me guys, I really love draft beers. Early the next morning. Hey guys, right now we are checking out a local coffee shop. Ooh, check it out! Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, and I asked him for the most flavorful coffee he had, made with beans from Chiapas. So that's what I'm gonna try right now. Mmm, very tasty.
after a coffee, the sun has decided to come out in San Cristobal, which is really nice because it has been a little bit cloudy the last couple days. And it's lunchtime now. Some of the Asian restaurants does not open until 1.30, so we have been starving ourselves this morning, and now we're super excited to get some sushi and sashimi, you know, rice. Asian's restaurant, Asia Rico Siete. We've been here before and this is really, really good. You can also have Korean barbecue here. All right, guys, they are open now. We're the first customers. And here you guys can see, they do have these Korean barbecue grills on the tables, which is Ava's favorite. Someone is very happy about rice and Korean barbecue. <laughs> They also have different dishes there. So I personally, I ordered two different types of sushi. It's gonna be good. So you can actually come here as an individual and buy Korean barbecue. Yes. You don't have to be two persons. Mm -hmm. That's nice. It's very, very nice here too. The service is good. The food is almost authentic. It's like very close. I would give this uh, nine. Wow, wow, nine out of 10. And I can't wait to one day to actually go to Korea and experience Korean barbecue, authentic. That's going to happen, manifesting it. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Guys, this sushi dish right here is amazing. It has fried banana and it's a vegan dish. I never had fried banana on sushi before, but it was really good. We're being spoiled. Yes, so they gave us a complimentary biscuit with marmalade and I think it's strawberry ice cream, I guess. Ooh. And you can have this complimentary for free if you do a review. I think that's a nice marketing way to get a review and also the guest gets free something. Everyone's yeah. happy, you know? Yeah. Okay guys, we are now out again in San Cristobal and we're checking out this very beautiful garden setting where we're having coffee and a Coca-Cola. Unfortunately, due to what's going on in the world, they don't have their normal lunch menu. They only have breakfast here right now, but we decided, however, to have a coffee and just enjoy the garden setting. This place is called La Casa de Familia and it is a hotel. You can also have lunch here if you're not a guest. And courtesy to Johnny Mellon, thank you for tipping me about the place. So yeah, you can have lunch here in this beautiful garden and just enjoy the tropical lush feeling. It's also a pretty nice hotel. If, if you're looking for a place to stay, maybe you can check it out. And that's the thing here in San Cristobal. Even though the streets are very narrow and every facade is very high, usually if you knock on the door and go in, you find a hidden paradise behind the walls. And this leaves us no option to leave the place. We can't be sleeping here. I guess if you rented a hotel room and you actually paid a lot of money for it and it started leaking from your roof, you would be asked to move to a new hotel room. If they didn't have another hotel room for you, you would ask to get your money back. Unfortunately, guys, this is not going to happen for us here because speaking to the host, we are not going to get refunded. So we're going to have to take this directly with Airbnb. It's a mess, but we're going to try to be positive. I'm going to try to go to our next 
We're, I mean, we're gonna tr try to be positive and find a new place here in Chapas. I, uh... It's already 7 p.m. It is 7 p.m. here. Uh, it was supposed to be our third night. And yeah, no, we just can't do it anymore. So, yeah. It was just, um, unfortunate uh, that everything happened all at once. It was. Um, even uh, for us and the host. I mean, uh, they probably didn't try to do this with intention. Yeah. But I, I do believe that if you're running a business and things happen to the customer, you should refund them. That's just how it works. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try to find a new hotel in Chiapas and hopefully this time it's gonna be even better. Let's go! <laughs> I was so looking forward to staying here too because it gives me that feeling of a Norwegian cabin, you know? So cool, but same time not. So right now, we're gonna try to drive into the city and try to find a hotel room to check into. And then we're gonna hope that Airbnb wants to refund us at least for, for the six nights that we're not gonna be staying here. So we'll see what happens. Uh, it just comes to, comes to the point where you, you can't you can't sleep in there. It's also mosquito infested. Like I haven't even left. <laughs> Look at that. I never get bitten by mosquitoes, but for some reason, in there. Oh my god. Let me let me guys know if you've had a similar experience somewhere. I always read reviews, and when you read them, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It can't can't be that bad. But sometimes it actually can. All right. Stay positive. Stay humble. Try to find a new place to sleep. The amazing thing about this place is that it actually had a private parking spot. It's gonna be hard to find, I think, in the city. Obviously opening the gate right there now, and I'm gonna back out. It's a, it's a, it's a really cool city though, San Cristobal. Super nice city, friendly locals. I just can't wait to show it to you properly. You're gonna see that it's so narrow streets, so having a private parking, it's really cool. And it's been really nice for us when we have uh, a rental car and if you know if someone bumps into it that's gonna cost us a lot of money so it was it was really nice to have one of uh, a private parking garage <laughs> filipinos do this thing where they knock on the car instead of the beep beep like can you hear that she's knocking 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 <laughs> she's my machine i love it oh it's been raining a lot here in san cristobal the last two days you guys can see, this is the narrow streets of San Cristobal. It's kind of wet now because it's been raining the entire day, but it's nice. You guys are going to okay. love this town. Okay guys, so we are, we think we found the hotel where we can stay for a couple of nights. We messaged them in advance and we're just going to bring all our luggage there now. Be nice, you know, it always works out in the end. Yeah. It always works out. And yeah. What else can we say, Ava? It's already 7.50. Yeah. And uh... I can't wait until I get a good night's sleep at our new place. Yeah. yeah. This never happened before where we have to uh, move from one place to another. Um, even like in hotel rooms, sometimes that doesn't happen. Like when we switch rooms. Yeah. But I think it's really fair that we cancel our reservation. I really do hope that Airbnb will help us to yeah. um, refund refund the remaining nights that we won't be staying i just think that it's not right to open your airbnb place to customers if you know there's like a leak and you're gonna have like three at least like three hours of maintenance during a guest stay yeah i think that's not um fair you know so it would have been nice if they mentioned it to us beforehand but it was never really um talked about upon before booking you before know? we so, actually arrived yeah we we tried to be very fair to the airbnb host and talked about our concerns um we really didn't want to cancel it to be honest we we wanted to get a refund yeah. and not cancel it through the airbnb app but she's like very she was very persistent with uh, the amount that she thought she was gonna refund and that's also due to the airbnb platform yeah there's no option where you can say the entire airbnb had a water leakage and we want full refund it only has a 50 percent refund yeah and that's also the problem and we told never, her we never done this maybe you can come to us and we can handle this in directly between us, directly mm -hmm. So but we she, won't get a bad review, everybody's happy. But she, unfortunately, the host didn't want to do that. Yeah. So that's why we are here right now, but we're going to keep you updated if Airbnb actually takes care of us during this whole incident. Okay. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hello. I want to clean it before we check out, you know, so we don't get a bad review. <laughs> 
All right, we're gonna get out of our Airbnb right now, bring our stuff. We actually have a lot of luggage and I have to tear down my entire working station over here. I was actually so happy about this. Okay, guys. We're leaving. We've done it. We've packed up all our stuff. Avis cleaned the dishes, which I think is very good sport. Just making sure we're leaving this the way we always do, as we found it. <laughs> 